hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so this is part 14 of api testing series and today we are going to talk about what is authentication and authorization in apis or in postman tool so let's get started so let's first focus on what you mean by authorization later on we'll talk about what is authentication so authorization is very important because we use authorization in our postman tool there are different ways to authorize uh, to access different apis so let's understand first authorization what do you mean by authorization so this is simple definition of authorization uh, let me just read it out and then i'll explain with the help of different examples so the meaning of authorization can be seen as a question which is are we eligible to access a secured resource on the server if the answer is yes if you are able to access that then in technical terms we can say that we are authorized to access the resource if the answer is no then we can say that we are not authorized to access the resource this is simple definition of authorization let me explain uh, better so let's say uh, you're working for any company and there are different uh, APIs the company is using nowadays most uh, companies are using different APIs so let's say these are the different APIs comp your company are using these APIs are, are like A, B, C, D, E and we as a team or as an individual we are able to access different APIs let's say we are able to access A API b and c but we are not able to access d and e so we are we have not given the authority to access d and e correct so we are not able to access d and e because these apis require some kind of authentication authentication anyway we'll discuss later so we have not given the authority we have not given the authority to access these apis so we need a certain uh, uh, we can say different uh, authorization uh, methods to access these APIs and we have not given the those authority but we are able to access these APIs like A, B and C so that we can directly use those APIs so there are basically two types of APIs so we have local APIs we have local APIs and we have remote APIs remote APIs so generally local APIs are uh, without any authorization we can access those and these are authorized APIs remote APIs are mostly authorized so we have to uh, we have to access using different authorization mechanism which we are going to discuss today using those remote APIs let me give some other examples so nowadays uh, like everyone using a smartphone correct so we have different uh, different uh, mechanism to secure our phone right so either we use password using password using pattern lock pattern lock or using fingerprint correct so until unless if you don't provide uh, these credentials or uh, fingerprint to someone else they are not able to access our phone so this is kind of authorization we have not given any authorization to any person right we have not given any kind of authorization to uh, to different person so this is authorization another example could be let's say this is an IT firm and this is the main gate of this complete IT firm and here we have different companies let's say company A company B C X Y Z now here uh, just considering more uh, friends because I'm going to explain authentication as well so let's say we are working for this I'm working for this company X so we have ID card of this company right we have ID card whenever we join the company they provide the ID card so before entering this uh, this premise uh, this IT firm they will see my ID card so the this guy is belongs to this particular company so they will give me the access so they have given the authorization uh, sorry they, they have just authenticate me like I'm working for this particular company so they authenticate my ID but I am not authorized to access other companies I am not authorized to access other companies until at least they are uh, if they if I have any kind of invitation from them right 
so i'm not able to access a b c y and z i'm able to access or i'm able to go to this company only so this is an example of authorization or authentication authentication i'll explain in coming slides so what is authentication so authentication is a process of presenting your credentials to the system and the system validating your credentials now i'm talking about the authentication so basically authentication what is authentication it is a process of presenting your credentials you are presenting uh, presenting your credentials to the system and the system validating your credentials whether it is correct or uh, incorrect so these credentials tell the system about who you are so basically authentication talks about who you are this enables the system to ensure the con and confirm users identity here system can be anything it can be computer phone bank or any physical office premises as we have spoken about uh, the it firm where in the main gate they are looking our id right so that is nothing but the uh, they are uh, giving the they are providing the authentication they are authenticate authenticating me right so who you are basically they are asking the question who you are so when we present our id they will confirm that this guy belongs to this particular company so authentication basically talks about who you are now let's talk again about authorization and uh, understand difference between authorization and authentication correct so authorization is the process of allowing or denying someone from accessing something once authentication is done so in layman terms authentication tells you who you are while authorization tells what you can do correct so after going to this office premises uh, it firm it uh, park so we are authenticating uh, they have provided the authentication like we have we they are identified us and we are able to access this it premises but we are not able to authorize to access each and every companies we are able to access only we can go to our company only the company which where i am working but i am not able to access other company premises or other we cannot access their uh, like different companies so this is the difference between authentication and authorization now let's talk about uh, a different authorization mechanism in postman tool so this is postman which i have already opened let me create a collection and then i'll explain you with the help of different examples i'll create new collection authorization and authentication so i have created a collection called authorization and authentication and here i'll create a new request let's say sample request i have just created a sample request now let me show you a website gores.co.in so this is uh, where we can get different apis using this website gores.co.in here we have different resources over here and uh, these are the different endpoints we have and let's try to access different uh, like resources using this api so these are the different endpoints guys uh, we have post uh, using we can access this using post method get method we can access this particular uh, user get user details here the definition like create a new user so we have to use a uh, uh, the basic url and this endpoint and uh, so that we can create a new user get user details the next one is for the get user details the another one is for update user details using put method and the last one is we can delete the user as well so to access these apis here uh, here we have uh, they have explained everything like request method put post patch delete needs access token so they have secured using access token correct which needs to be passed with authorization header as bearer token 
so this is what they have given uh, some kind of like uh, authorization mechanism over here to access these resources so what we'll do let's try out this try out this uh, first using get method whether we use uh, whether we need authorization in get method or not right because here they have not mentioned get method only we need whenever we update anything or delete anything on the server so let's try to access an api here so simply i'll copy uh, this i'll put it over here and then i'll try to access this particular resource i try to access users so using get method so let me save this and let's click on send so here you can see we got the 200 ok message correct so we are able to access using get method so simply we are retrieving the data from the server so there is no authorization needed over here correct and uh, what i'll do i'll simply copy one of the resource one of the id here and uh, we'll try to use post method so simply what i'll do i'll create duplicate this one and uh, post method body raw and i'll select json format now i'm going to post something on the server correct using post method and this is the url and let's say let's remove id it does not required id we need only uh, these things let me change the first name as well test name and example also uh, sorry email also i change to update to something else test one two three gender male and active now let's try to put uh, some record on the server we try to post some record on the server so let's say we, whether we are able to do or do it or not so click on send so here we are getting 401 unauthorized correct so we are authentic authentication failed so we have not provided any kind of authentication to access these resources uh, to update into database to update into their server right we want to add a new record but we are not able to do so because we have not authorized to access this resource or this api using this post method right so what we are going to do so request methods put post patch delete needs access token which needs to be passed with authorization header as bearer token so now i'll explain what are the different authorization we have in postman so here you can see a tab called auth correct and these are the different types of authorization we have so we have no auth so no auth means uh, no this request does not use any authorization so when we click on send it will show us authentication failed so sometimes we can select this one be, uh, if you if you don't use any authorization this is no auth is there and api api key is there so some part of like some when we use some uh, like key and value like access uh, token api key token then we'll use this api key Similarly, we have bearer token as well. So let me delete this. I think I have used earlier, so that's why it is showing some token here. Let me save it. So bearer token we are going to use. And if you talk about basic auth, so we have here username and password. So some of the APIs we use using basic authorization using username and password. So simply you have to provide username and password over here so let me just provide some user just dummy user test and password password now you can see one header will be created correct so click on send if you go to header so this is the example of basic authorization so here you can see it will be created like authorization key and what is the value so this is the syntax of the basic authorization So this is the value and what is the key 
yeah like this authorization and then basic this is the authorization is the key and what is the value basic space this is the value which is uh, encoded right using base 64 now what we are going to do in this particular api example we have to use using bearer token so how to get that bearer token right so let me try this i'll use this basic i, I cannot use basic authorization we have to use this bearer token so here we have to provide the token so how to do that so from here in the last we have this get your access token so if you click on this here we get the access token so what you guys can do already i have created already i have created uh, user on this one so simply i have logged in using gmail account so you can do in the same way using this website go rest.co.in or when you click on this get your access token it will ask you to access using github or your gmail id so you can access that so it gives a token over here this is the token i'll simply i'll copy it and expires it never expires and we have some limit remaining uh, some limit i think this is a character number of characters we have and we can delete this token and we can create new access token as well so what i'll do simply i'll provide this access token over here token here and save this now i'll try to send it again this request post request so let me send it now here you can see we got 201 created so this record has been created on the server so this is how you can do using different authorization so i don't have any example of this basic authorization so that's why i have not given and there are couple of other authorization mechanism like oauth oauth is nothing uh, but open authorization and we have another oauth oauth 1.0 and 2.0 so we have more secured uh, mechanism in this oauth 2.0 so what is what is the difference between basic authorization and oauth so the basic difference is uh, using basic basic auth what happens is we directly provide the username and password to the server however using oauth what happens is there is a third party application using which we uh, give our uh, access token to that application and from there it uh, goes to the server so that's how it happens so there is one more layer between uh, client and server so that is nothing but the oauth mechanism of authorization so these are the different ways we can authorize uh, uh, an api if you want to access some apis on the remote server so this is all for today guys let me uh, let me know if you have any doubts or if you want more information about this authorization and authentication. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.